Good evening everybody. Thank you very much for joining in. Today we are going to speak about one of the exclusive topic in business combination which is known as earn out accounting. Well from this side I am Rahul Magan. I am working in EXL as a corporate treasurer and taking care of a treasury function. And again restressing the fact that today we are going to speak about very exclusively about a very very exclusive topic which is known as earn out accounting. What do you mean by earn out accounting? Today we are living in 2015 when majority of the companies are doing M&A and if you take this into consideration then Asia Pacific is one of the reasons where a lot of M&As are happening. Particularly in India, particularly in Singapore, in Malaysia and Australia, Tokyo and all. So Asia Pacific is the reason where a lot of M&As are happening. Now these M&A, we, we always say okay what's an M&A? M&A is nothing but it's a, stress, it's a strategic acquisition. Take a very simple example. If we say Tata who bought Chorus say a dollar 12 billion dollar a deal it is nothing but an M&A. On the other hand say Tata who bought Jaguar a car company by paying roughly 5 billion 4.5 billion dollar it is nothing but an M&A. But M&A or merger and acquisition is not as simple as it is. It is a highly highly competitive process because every M&A you take every M&A, it involves two things. One is the direct consideration and another is the indirect consideration. Indirect consideration sometimes would also refer as contingent consideration. And contingent consideration would always refer to as earn out. Now what do you mean by earn out? Take a very simple example. If Tata is buying a chorus and they are paying roughly 12 billion dollars as an, as an amount. It is a direct cash consideration which Tata is paying. Now in this I am assuming they are paying a cash. They can pay equity also. They can use suit equity also. They can dilute their structures. They can issue any preferential shares. They can issue any convertible shares. They can issue anyone. But here you know, for a simplistic thing I am assuming they are paying cash. Now with this they are buying a company Chorus in England. They are not sure how the things would move. Take a very simple example. World economy is changing. Steel production is getting down. Cost is rising. Prices are falling. So there is a big probability that this acquisition would fail or the synergy from this acquisition would go. Now synergy is, is nothing but a management term. You have one term which is known as synergy is a management term but in accounting this is known as goodwill. Now this 12 billion dollars would have one more element which is known as earn out. Now what do you mean by earn out? Earn out means if chorus would cross 2.5 billion dollar more business than expected then Tata would pay 50% of the money to the holders of chorus or the promoters of chorus. Other way Chorus is working on a R&D of a steel element which is going to be used in railways and if, if Chorus would win that, if Chorus would get an approval for that, then the stockholders or the stakeholders or the promoters of Chorus would get an additional compensation from Tata. Or they are vying for a project which is a 10 billion dollar project. This project has just started. Chorus along with the respective competitors are vying. They don't know the project would whether the project would get in the hands of Chorus or if not in the hands of Chorus or if they get a small amount of benefit, how much benefit they would get and if, if they get a, a, a little business or not. So these are the things which you don't know. So earnouts could be on the technical grounds, it could be on the non-technical grounds. So this is that is why this is known as contingent consideration. Something which you will pay not today but at a later moment of time. And because you are going to pay at a later moment of time, then in that you would be able to, then in that this is known as earn out. So if earn out would, would execute or a trigger would happen, then Tata would pay. If not, then there is not going to be any payment. Now how to value that? In a simplistic note, you have a 12 billion dollar of payout to chorus. You are assuming an earn out of 1.5 billion dollars. The future value, sorry, the, the fair value, the fair value of that earn out is 750k or, or I am assuming simplistically as 1 billion. Now the total amount of payment is 12 billion. That is you paid, the fair value is 1 billion. The total, the total amount of uh, base, 
दिस इज थर्टीन बिलियन टोटल इज थर्टीन बिलियन टोटल इज थर्टीन बिलियन ना वट इज गुडविल गुडविल इज नथिंग बट द वैल्यूएशन विच यू एक्वायर्ड माइनस द कैश कंसिडरेशन नाउ सॉरी विच इज द वैल्यूएशन यू पेड so you paid 13 billion dollars because 13 billion because 12 billion plus 1 billion minus the asset or the liabilities sorry net of asset you receive is say uh, 11 billion dollar so the net you would receive is 2 billion dollars this is goodwill so earn outs increase goodwill but the point is earn outs again of two type when you have an asset earn out when you have a liability earn out to take a very simple example i am again repeating tata bought corus 12 billion corus is developing a steel product which is going to be used in the railways now if this product would hold true then corus would have more business in the hand tata is saying if this product would hold true then i will pay you additional billion dollar for that additional additional 1.5 billion dollar that this is an earn out the fair value of that earn out stand as 1 billion so the total consideration is 12 billion plus 1 billion which is 13 billion the total valuation paid is 13 the asset which is which is acquired by tata is 11 billion dollar so goodwill is of 2 billion dollar please be note that goodwill is an intangible which is subject to impairment an annual impairment test to be performed for goodwill there is no surety that if today tatas who have who, who basically booked 2 billion dollars of goodwill they are not going to write off they have to write off the goodwill if there is going to be any any trigger event that is going to happen and if you carefully see the 10th may 2015 well lot of stuff would happen if, if people would see carefully 10th may 2015 live mint page number i think 13 or 14 then there is a clear statement that tatas is going to impair 5000 crore goodwill of corus so the total impairment of goodwill in corus is now 6.5 billion dollars out of the total acquisition of 12 billion dollar so means goodwill is almost right off so this is all about earn out at the end i would like to stress the fact that earn out plays a very very important role earn out to the call the management to consider earn out carefully if you are not considering the earn out carefully then you are bound to lose you may have you may have an earning surprise and if you are going to have an earning surprise then both the ceo cfo would explain to investors and so on and so forth you are very well you are most welcome to contact me at 9198992429780 or you are welcome to email me at rahul magan 8 at the rate gmail.com thank you very much and thanks for your time